wandering albatross, the eagle-sized albatross. When thinking of large birds, perhaps some of the first things that come to your mind are eagles, condors, or hawks. Although these birds have an impressive size and appearance, there is a bird that's larger than them, the wandering albatross. Also known as a snowy albatross, white-winged albatross, or goonie, the wandering albatross is one of the two largest members of the genus Diomedia. The wandering albatross is one of the world's largest, most well-known, and most extensively researched bird species. These seabirds are known for their great wingspan of any living bird, and they are also known to be one of the most far-ranging birds. As a matter of fact, there are wandering albatrosses who travel the Southern Ocean three times a year, covering more than 75,000 miles, or 120,000 kilometers. So, in this video, we're going to take an in-depth look at all the things you need to know about these amazing seabirds. Without further ado, let's begin. Size and Appearance Wandering albatrosses are known for their stocky build and stature, adding to their overall large appearance. Males are usually larger than females with a length of 3.5 to 4.42 feet, 107 to 135 centimeters. Meanwhile, females are slightly smaller at around 3.41 to 4.26 feet, 104 to 130 centimeters. On average, their weight ranges between 13 to 28 pounds, 5.9 to 12.7 kilograms. When it comes to their appearance, the wandering albatross has a white head, neck, and body. Their tail is wedge-shaped, and their feet and the large beak are pink. Juveniles have chocolate brown plumage that whitens as they age. Adults have white wings with black around the tips, while females have more black in them. These seabirds have a wingspan of around 8 feet 3 inches to 11 feet 6 inches, 251 to 350 centimeters, the longest wingspan among birds. For this reason, they are described as the bird which made the breeze to blow. Distribution Wandering albatrosses are mainly found flying across the Southern Ocean, including the Antarctic, subantarctic and subtropical waters. Some of them are also found in all oceans except the North Atlantic. These seabirds breed on remote islands just to the north of the Antarctic Circle, particularly in the UK's South Georgia Island, Il Kerguelen, Prince Edward Islands, South Africa's Marion, Australia's Macquarie Island, Crozet, and Kerguelen Islands in the French Southern Territories. They nest in sheltered areas in plateaus, ridges, valleys, or plains. Typically, young birds stay at sea for around 5 to 10 years before returning to the island where they were born to breed. Outside breeding season, wandering albatrosses may travel thousands of kilometers at a speed of 40 kilometers per hour. Sometimes they even cross the equator. Habits and Lifestyle True to their name, the wandering albatross's fishing trips can last for 10 to 20 days. They spend most of their time in flight using their large wings to glide and ride the seas and ocean's winds. And despite their large size, they adapt well to soaring flight, which means they can glide for hours and will only flap in order to regain their height. Because they are so efficient at flying, these seabirds use more energy sitting in the nest than when they're in the air. They only land for two reasons, to breed and to eat. When looking for food during the daytime, wandering albatrosses are usually seen traveling in small groups. And as mentioned earlier, one wandering albatross may even cross the equator, traveling far from its breeding grounds. During the breeding season, wandering albatrosses tend to be social, and they are likely to perform a range of vocalizations or displays, which is pretty common when they are mating, defending a territory, or fighting over a meal. 
These include croaks, bill clapping, pointing to the sky, bill touching, mutual preening, spreading of wings, head shaking, trumpeting, giving the gawky look, as well as ecstatic gestures. Diet and Nutrition Wandering albatrosses are carnivores, and their diet mostly consists of fish, squid, toothfish, cephalopods, jellyfish, and sometimes crustaceans. They are also seen eating penguins and seal carrion. They feed at night and sometimes they forage in small groups. They may also follow fishing boats in anticipation of feeding on discards. Chicks can eat up to 100 kilograms of food during their rearing period, which can last for about 300 days. Meanwhile, foraging travels of wandering albatrosses can last for up to 50 days. However, their trips can be shortened during the breeding season. When a wandering albatross eats too much, it may be unable to fly, in which they will just float on the water. Mating Habits Wandering albatrosses sexually mature when they're around 11 years old. As previously mentioned, males will court females through certain actions and vocalizations. They will perform some dances while spreading their wings. Once the female has chosen her mate, they will form a lifelong relationship. Mating happens every two years, and the breeding season starts from November until March. Wandering albatrosses breed in large colonies on remote islands. They build their nests from mud and grass, and they scatter them in groups. The pair will protect a small area around their nest, and while fights may occur, it is typically because of food. When the female lays one creamy white egg, the pair will take turns incubating it. The egg will then hatch at around 11 weeks, and when the chick is born, the pair will again take turns in foraging and staying at the nest to care for their offspring. Population and Threats From the locations where they can be found, the IUCN's Red List estimated that the population of wandering albatrosses is around 6,107 breeding pairs, which equate to around 20,100 mature individuals. Despite them being well protected because of certain laws, currently the wandering albatross is classified as vulnerable and their population is gradually declining. Perhaps the threat to the population of these animals is long-line fishing wherein once they are hooked, they will drown. Another possible cause is the ingestion of plastics that kills both the mother and the chick. Interesting Facts Now that you know the basic information about the wandering albatross, let's talk more about some of the most interesting facts about these amazing seabirds. Number 1. Wandering Albatross Has a Special Gland Wandering albatrosses can go on flying trips for thousands of kilometers without touching the land. But how do they survive during those times? Well, they have a special gland located above their nasal passage. This special gland produces a high saline solution that helps regulate the salt level in their bodies. This salt gland partakes in the desalination mechanism that aids in removing salt from the body which mostly comes from all the salt water they consume when they drink. This gland also contains thousands of small capillaries known as tubules that are covered in very thin blood vessels. Unlike other marine mammals who get their water needs from their diet by drinking small amounts of seawater, this amazing adaptation of wandering albatrosses enables them to meet their water intake from salt water. Number 2. Wandering albatross use two techniques to travel long distances. As mentioned, wandering albatrosses have the biggest wingspan of any extent bird. For them to travel long distances, these seabirds use two techniques, namely dynamic soaring and slope soaring. Dynamic soaring is when the bird glides between air masses of various velocities, thus enabling them to gain energy while minimizing efforts. Meanwhile, slope soaring occurs when the airstream is diverted upward as a result of the wind blowing into a hill or cliff. This deflection helps the albatross acquire a significant height so it can glide back to the water. 
Number 3. Wandering Albatross Has an Acidic Stomach Wandering albatross are capable of eating large prey, but how does their digestive system handle the large amounts of food that they consume every day? Well, wandering albatrosses are very acidic animals with a stomach pH of about 1.5. The acidity of their stomach is similar to what is found in vultures, which primarily feed on carrion. Their acidic stomach helps speed up the process of chemical breakdowns of the food they consume, which means that they have very quick digestion. And that concludes our video about the wandering albatross. Among all the things we talked about, what details about these seabirds amazed you the most? Or perhaps you have other information about them that you'd want to share with us? Feel free to comment below. If you find this video helpful, make sure to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. Feel free to share it with your family and friends whom you think might be interested in this topic. Lastly, don't forget to click the notification button as well so that you'll be notified once we upload new videos. This has been Wild Facts. Thank you for staying with us until the end, and I hope to see you again in the next video.